I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Once your new saltwater tank is at the right salinity and temperature, it's time to cycle your tank so you can put fish in it. Cycling your tank refers to getting the nitrogen cycle up and running. And contrary to popular belief, the process doesn't have to take months or even weeks. Pro tip, your tank has never really done cycling. The nitrogen cycle is always happening, even on fully established tanks like mine. Step one of the nitrogen cycle is that ammonia is converted into nitrites by nitrifying bacteria. Step two occurs when nitrifying bacteria takes the nitrites and turns them into nitrates. Once there is little or no ammonia, little or no nitrites, and some amount of nitrates, the initial cycling of your tank is complete. For the budget build tank, we're going to cycle the tank the same way I cycled all of my tanks and all my clients' tanks. We're going to do it with fish, with the natural bacteria isolated from an aquarium, and within 24 to 48 hours. Now even though we're cycling the budget build tank in a quick cycle process, the whole process is harmless to the fish. The fish aren't exposed to harmful ammonia, and I've yet to lose a fish during the quick cycle process. What I'm about to show you is a paint by numbers process. Follow the steps exactly and the whole process goes smoothly. Also keep in mind, don't purchase any fish just yet. In the next episode, I'll talk to you about what fish are appropriate for the budget size tank. For now, watch and learn about cycling your tank, and then come back and reference this video once you understand which fish are appropriate for your tank. Finally, if you're starting your tank with live rock, which I don't recommend, use the bacteria and don't use the fish to cycle your tank. The reason for this is when live rock is transported, some of it can die off. When you place that live rock in your tank, it can cause ammonia levels to spike because of all that dead material you're asking your immature tank to try to handle. Another reason I don't like to use live rock to start a tank, and if you do use live rock, remember, use the bacteria, don't use the fish. Here's how I cycle all my tanks. Step one, purchase the appropriate size bottle of Dr. Tim's one and only, or Fritz Turbo Start 900. These are the only two products I use and I trust to cycle mine and my client's tanks. You cannot overdose nitrifying bacteria and you don't need to buy a lot more than you need. Note, hot and cold temperatures can kill the nitrifying bacteria, so saltwateraquarium.com ships your nitrifying bacteria via overnight or two day shipping in a temperature controlled box. If your bacteria arise frozen or hot, you're gonna to wanna to replace the bacteria as it can get killed in extreme hot or cold. Step two, ensure your tank salinity is between 1.020 and 1.026 specific gravity or between 27 and 35 PPT. Step three, make sure your tank's temperature is between 76 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Step four, once your fish are acclimated to the tank, preview of coming attractions, I'll show you how to acclimate your fish in a future episode. For now, you're here to learn about cycling your tank. Once your fish are acclimated to your tank, add the fish and immediately shake the bottle of nitrifying bacteria and pour in the whole bottle into your tank. Remember, you cannot overdose the nitrifying bacteria, so no need to save any liquid in the bottle. Step five, sit back and relax for now. Don't feed the fish, just let them swim around your tank and explore their new home. The last piece of cycling your tank is to see how the bacteria is doing in your tank, and you do that through testing your tank with test kits. Once the fish and bacteria are in, wait 24 hours, and then start testing your tank. Step six, check your tank's ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels. You do that with test kits, and you can download my free recommended test kit list at the link right up there. Check ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate every 24 hours for five days. Your test results should look like this no ammonia, little or no nitrite, and some nitrates. Once you have zero ammonia, very low, or no nitrites, and some nitrates, the initial cycling of your tank is done. Note, keep testing your tank daily for five days to ensure everything is running smoothly. Before I wrap up the cycling of your tank video, here are some common myths about cycling your tank with a bacteria in a bottle product. Myth number one, cycling your tank with a bacteria in a bottle product is unnatural. This is always a fun myth for me. The fact is we're using a natural bacteria isolated from an aquarium and adding it to your tank. Therefore, we're taking something that naturally occurs in an aquarium and adding it to your aquarium. How is that unnatural? Myth number two, the bacteria in a bottle product made my tanks water cloudy. It wasn't the bacteria in a bottle product at fault. Nitrifying bacteria grow slowly enough that it cannot cloud your tank's water. Don't blame the nitrifying bacteria, blame the heterotrophic bacteria that multiplies much faster. 
Note that high quality bacteria and bottle products like the ones I use and recommend do not contain heterotrophic bacteria because heterotrophic bacteria can interfere with nitrifying bacteria. Myth number three. It's better to cycle your tank by adding the bacteria in a bottle and then adding fish food or a table shrimp. If you want to delay the process, go for it. If you put in fish food or a piece of shrimp, then that food or shrimp has to get broken down by heterotrophic bacteria and turned into ammonia before the nitrifying bacteria can process it. When your tank is new, it has little or no heterotrophic bacteria in it. So if you toss in fish food or shrimp, you're prolonging the process. Don't waste your time. Only add the bacteria products that I trust and a fish or two. Friendly reminder, what fish to add to your tank is coming in the next episode, so don't purchase any fish yet. Myth number four. I never saw nitrite in my test result, therefore the bacteria isn't working. Actually, the cycle happens so fast, all the nitrite must process into nitrate. Nothing is wrong. That means everything is working as designed. Now that the nitrogen cycle is up and rolling in your tank, wait at least two weeks before you add more fish to your tank. I understand you're going to get excited. I want you to add more fish to your tank, but take a deep breath, slow down, and wait at least two weeks before you add more fin friends to your tank. I'm Mark Callie and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquarium.com. I'll see you in the next episode.